We got everybody in here? Hey, listen, guys. Um, hey, I'm, I brought your headgear, you know, delivered them. I was talking to Coach Weirheim, and uh, I told him a great time to deliver it would be at your inner squad. So I could get to know some of the athletes, kind of watch you guys wrestle, and kind of check out the landscape a little bit. Um, Coach Weirheim and I have known each other for a really long time uh, through wrestling. Uh, we're both Clackamas alumni. He's a recipient of the Richard Jensen Inspirational Award. And, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm looking around at uh, all the athletes and I'm seeing opportunity. That's what I see when I look at each and every one of you is opportunity. And right here, right now, this is your moment. This is your moment to take advantage of this opportunity because there's a lot of athletes out there that wish they were here at this moment in your spot. You know, this is the moment. I missed that opportunity 35 years ago when I had a chance to go to college, man. I missed it. Got to using drugs, girls, alcohol, and I lost my focus. I lost my focus and I got detoured. And I spent 20 years kicking myself in the butt over it. It took me 20 years to get my footing again. This can happen to anybody, guys. So this is my opportunity to share a message with you guys. And, we, and Coach Weirheim and I, and a lot of people think it's an important message that you should hear because everybody has a hard time talking about these tough subjects. But for me, I lived through a really, really dark, dark place and time in my life. And I believe the reason I came out of it was so that I could talk to you guys. And so that's what I do. I share uh, transparency with my story. You know, 20 years ago, I was uh, waking up in a homeless shelter because drugs had taken control of my life for a long time. Coming up in a homeless shelter, 34 years old, wondering what happened to my life. What happened to wrestling? What happened to those dreams and aspirations I had for myself when I was your age? Trying to carve my way, trying to find my way. You know, I don't ever get that time back. You wanna take advantage of every opportunity that's available to you and figure out where you wanna be and what you wanna do. If anything you take away from here is to go home and look in the mirror and do a self-evaluation. A self-evaluation of kind of where you're at, what you wanna do, what you're trying to accomplish, sports, college, life. Because those things are extremely important over time. Time goes by extremely fast. And the decisions you're making the 22 hours of the day outside the wrestling room are going to determine how well you really compete on the mat. You know, anybody can go push their butt for two hours a day. Those other 22 hours, if you're doing the right thing and living clean and making good positive choices and hanging around good positive environment and people, you're going to compete better, guys. You're going to compete at a higher level. You want to jump levels? What are you doing the other 22 hours of the day?